Maybe you've gotten bored of the vanilla look of your Mac and want to spice it up with something fresh. And what better way to do it if not with custom icons? I'll show you how to find, download and change icons of any third-party app or folder in macOS. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's start with how to change the icon of any installed app on your MacBook, which is very easy. Click Go and select Applications, then Command click or right click on an app and choose get info. Drag any image onto the HTTP icon and replace it. Now if you check, the icon of that app has been updated everywhere on your MacBook. It works the same way with the folder. Right click on a folder, get info, drag any image onto the icon and you have changed its icon. Unfortunately, changing the icons of native apps like Safari or System Preferences is no longer possible to a mortal human and requires using a third-party app like IconChamp, which costs $10. Of course, you don't want to use an image as your icon, but be a professional and use an ICNS file, which is made specifically for app icons. The best place to find those is macOSicons.com and it has over 14,000 of them to choose from. Here you can search for icons based on the app app's name or pick just any icon you think looks cool. And once you have, tap on it to download. Although I change my icons frequently, here are a few of my favorite ones for the apps that I use most at the moment. I use this one for Chrome because I prefer dark mode. I use this for Spotify because I think it just looks cooler than the default one. This for Photoshop because it's more 3D and this one for ScreenFlow, which is a screen recording software. Now if you do decide to use an image as your icon, try downloading it in a PNG format because this format supports transparency. That means that you won't see these hard edges on your folder icon and it will have a nice transparent background. Now you'll probably end up disliking some of the icons that you apply to your apps. So to reset an icon to the default one, right click, get info, click on the icon to highlight it and then simply hit delete on your keyboard. Now your icon will reset. If it doesn't, try fully closing out that app removing it from the dock and then re-adding it, and the issue should be fixed. 